Hi everyone. We are so excited to have Laura and Carrie from Sweet Potato Chronicles here today with us. They have just launched a fabulous new cookbook called School Year Survival and we were super, super excited to talk lunch strategies yes. with these ladies. Who knows we all need them, right? Exactly. Yes. So you guys have a few lunch issues you want to discuss with, <laughs> right? Yes. Right. Okay. This is a circle of love, you can tell us. Yes. Okay. Stephanie, what's your issue? So I have two boys. They are 12 and 14. And I send a lunch every day, and every day that lunch comes back completely untouched. And I do find a lot of candy wrappers in the pockets oh, too. Oh, so, right. Yeah. Oh. Good. So Never go through the I need I need them to become more inspired, and I need to be more inspired to right. make this work. Okay, and we got that. And I, you know, flipping through the cookbook, there's some fabulous things in here. I'm just looking for inspiration. I do feel like I get stuck in a rut, and I pack the same thing every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'd like to spice it up a little. Okay, yeah, make it fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We can handle that. We can handle that. So we really focused with this. This is our second book on strategies because we, what we really heard from parents was that it's the how as much as the what when yeah. it comes to food and yeah. so we really wanted to drill down on those strategies. All right. And go ahead, do you want to tell them what you call yourself? I'm the lunch ninja. Yes. <laughs> because I make a lot of lunches every nice. day and I like to try to be efficient. I, you know, my goal is for the lunch to get eaten and so right. we, I feel like I've sort of learned a few things over the years and. So you so guys are going to teach us all how to be lunch ninjas? You yes. are going to be all right. going to be a lunch ninja by the time we're done here. Fantastic. Great. Right. So first step is knowing what to pack, right? What am I supposed to send? So you want to think about lunch as just less than one third of the nutrition for the day, which is why I love a bento box mm -hmm. because it really allows you to visualize, yeah. you know, everything that you should be sending, and you mm -hmm. can think of each little compartment as yeah. a food group. And here, I'm, we're just sort of showing all the different things you could be sending. Um, what is this? So this is a curried chicken salad with grapes. Ooh. I like it. In I'd the, like that. Yeah. Right? It's really mild, yeah. so don't be afraid what of a curry. Delicious. Um, I like it in the mini pita because it's like a nice portion for a kid, yeah. depending on, you know, a big kid might need a bigger pita, mm. a little kid might need the little ones, but they just pack up really nicely. I love sending kiwi, I just use a knife and go around the edge, and then I'll send that with a spoon. They, they can scoop just it? scoop so, it up. Oh, okay. Um, you get your spoon back? Yeah. I have <laughs> Come on. some... Tell, tell I, people. I do get my spoons back, mm -hmm. and I have um, a bunch of great ones that I love. Um, Popcorn and seaweed is a favorite snack combo of our kids. It's super healthy, but it's just something different than crackers. I love the color too. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll tell you more about this later, but that's a school safe snack. And I that could be anything, that combo. That could be pretzels and 100%. raisins, right? So they get that salty, Little treat. sweet yumminess. So that's when you think about what to pack. I think a bento box can really be your friend in visualizing. Yeah. Especially when you've got really young school age children yeah. because that's really how they enjoy eating, right? If yeah. you think about it. Like they like lots of little, little things of to nosh. I mean, yeah. I like eating like that too, but yeah. it, it's help if, it helps if they have variety, yes. right? Yeah. I think the color too will get my boys excited. Yeah. I think my, it's all, everything is beige in my lunchbox, so maybe there's a reason right. why they don't eat it's those. Our, <laughs> it's our new goal to get your boys to eat. Okay. So I, I can't stand that you find candy wrappers. It's happening, it's happening. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the second strategy is to know when to pack the lunch because the bottom line is it's just one more thing in your day. Mm -hmm. If you if you I see it, I hate yeah. it. Oh, I have anxiety no. over oh, no. lunch packing time. Nobody right. likes it, but we're gonna be zen. Namaste. <laughs> yeah, we're going to embrace it. We know we have to do it, just like cleaning those people. Yeah. We, like, <laughs> we, had to, yes. we had to clean them when they were younger and yeah. now we're going to feed them. Yeah. Um, and we're going to do it when we're making another meal. We're not going yes. to have time set aside just for making lunches. So if you're Good making idea. dinner, if you're cutting carrots for a chili that you're making or whatever recipe, you're cutting extra yeah. and they're going into the refrigerator yeah. with a little water. You're cut. You're gonna cut your cucumbers, you're gonna clean your fruit, you're gonna cut them if you need to to mm -hmm. make them easier for your children to eat. This way you're gonna eliminate mess yeah. and you're killing two birds with one stone. It's 10 o'clock when everyone's in bed no. and you just wanna go no. to bed. Right? And no, honestly, it. it can be though. Like yeah. if you're a night owl and that's when you wanna do it yeah. because yeah. you're still cleaning up the kitchen from dinner yeah. then, you know, sometimes people walk away from the kitchen and leave the mess. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever you want to do it, as long as you maximize your time in the kitchen, you don't want yeah. another reason to be in I the kitchen. And idea. so 
do it when you're Tack doing something yeah. else. And then it's easier to clean up because you're just cleaning from that one gigantic process in the kitchen, right? Yeah. yeah. Now our third tip is how to get out of a rut because we all get into lunch ruts, right? Yeah, that's me. And so Laura's gonna show you one of our huge beliefs mm -hmm. is is that and this goes back to you know make one time in the kitchen yield more than one meal mm -hmm. and so if you've made dinner yeah. hopefully you've made extra and our our book really addresses that a lot of the recipes that we have in the book are what we call super yielders i love that yeah yeah, yeah. because traditional recipes yield four servings mm -hmm. we wanted to give families more so that they always have leftovers you so can freeze them you can use them for lunches right. yeah. yeah so if you're if you're doing our strategy and you're doing one time in the kitchen, you'd put this all together in the night before, you'd pack up your, your leftovers from your dinner, yeah. and then the next morning, because for instance, a sandwich you'd want to make in the morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you'd get everything else done the night before when you were in the kitchen maybe doing dinner, but yeah. make the sandwich in the morning, because that be ends fresher. up can be being soggy, and yeah. wrap it in yeah. saran wrap mm -hmm. before you send it to mm -hmm. school. So in case, the lunchbox is a really evil place and yeah. things get spilled easily. Yeah. So wrap it up so that in case there is a spill, it's not gonna yeah. ruin the integrity yeah. of the sandwich. And then in the morning, you would have had all of this done. We love this box because it has a great spot for a meal like this. You would heat your little thermos area with okay. boiling water to warm it up. To warm it up. And then we would add and some of our leftover. Throw out that water and throw then get your food in there. Yeah. Or or you can put your hot coffee in there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> then you drink it. So you put it. your leftover pasta in, and then we have this great bolognese sauce that we make in the slow cooker. It yields so many leftovers. And what we always like to say about these super yielders, it doesn't take more time to make a bigger yeah. amount. No, it's true. It's the same amount, yeah. but you get multiple meals out of it. So yeah. once you kind of switch that over in your brain, yeah. you'll mm -hmm. be doing it all the time. And what's great about sending something like this to school is it's pasta. I don't know a kid yeah. that doesn't like pasta. If you have a kid that doesn't like pasta, you can write us <laughs> and <laughs> give you an yeah. alternate idea. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We also yeah. want to meet your kids. Right. Yeah. Maybe. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it could be risotto, it could be a chili. I actually thought about like bringing that. polenta too, because mm. polenta is something nice, especially in the winter. Yeah. You want something hearty to send your kids to school with. It's yeah. For the foodie kid who's got their polenta with their yeah. mullet. Yeah. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Love it. And then, like I said, um, you you've done a lot of this in advance, and so it's really easy to get this out the door in the morning if you're just warming this, filling yeah. it, and sending it. So tip number four is how much to pack. And obviously this is so individual yes. and you really have to work this out kind of with your kid. Like mm -hmm. just yeah. really have an honest conversation with them about how much they need. Are they hungry? Are they, is it too much? Because it, it is heartbreaking to throw away an untouched lunch or mm -hmm. any yeah. part of it. But I find lunch. it changes too. I, I do get a lot of feedback on too much, too yeah. little. Yes. And, yeah. Yeah. and I think the that when you look at lunch containers, there really is kind of an age appropriateness though too mm -hmm. with some of them. For instance, this bento style of eating is really great for younger kids yep. in school. That's great for a first grader, second grader. You wouldn't send something like this guy, which I love and I would use myself. Junior kindergarten right there. Yeah, yeah. that's right, <laughs> exactly. Um, this is great for an older kid yeah. who who is really leaving for the day, yeah. right? So someone who wants maybe an entire meal, they're not crazy eating, and then they need snacks for after school activities. Everything in one place. So yeah. you've got everything living in one spot. We hear that from a lot of parents that their kids are involved in sports or dance or what, whatever it is, that they're going, you know, yeah. from nine in the morning to say six or seven. Yeah. So you know, they obviously just need more food and active kids need more yeah. food. So you really have to kind of work that out with your kid. And that's why snacks are also really important yeah. when you're sending kids yes. that have really packed schedules. You want them to have nutritional snacks. We like to think of snacks as another opportunity to give them nutrition. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's great if you can give them something like this where they have a lot of little things to choose from. And they can yep. go, come and go from that throughout the day too. Yeah. 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 And then our very last tip, you know, you've gone to all this effort, so now we want to keep it safe. Yeah. So we all know, <laughs> we all know that uh, 
kids' lockers or their cubbies or their backpacks, wherever the lunch is living until lunchtime, are not like fridges. No. So you want to make sure that, especially things with mayo or yes. egg, are going to be okay come that lunchtime. So you're going to tuck that under, however it works for that lunchbox. Yeah. Just tuck it where Please. you have it near the food that's going to need it most, yeah, right? right? Exactly. Be, thought, be thoughtful about it. So what do you guys think? Do you think you're ready to take are you, on are your... You, are you, you got like this? You have ready? I think I'm, I'm ready to be a lunch ninja. I am. I am September ready, ready to go. Thank yeah. you so much, Laura and Carrie. Thanks, Thanks so much for us. having us. We are ready. Here we go, Ooh. lunch ninjas. <laughs>